Hey there, Dan Gastu here. Uh, today's video is just a short one. It's um, essentially a follow-up to two other videos. Um, one is the making a, a DVA um, for test ignition and a bit of a fault in this design sort of showed itself um, doing the other video on testing ignition. So I'm just gonna make a small modification to this um, and show you what that is. Um, and uh, then it'll be good for sort of doing a wider range of tests. All right, so I'll just bring you in a bit closer and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So if you saw the video on testing ignition, you'll see how what I did out in the field quickly was just uh, have a jumper wire and just bypass this um, this resistor. Actually, this wire is in parallel to it, so some a small amount of current will proportionally run through this resistor, but the bolt comes through this straight through wire, um, which gave us good results for the test. So all I'm going to do now is just cut this lead here, um, put a switch in, and that I'll run through to the outside of the box, and it just allows me to switch it through the two modes. So that's really the only modification. This is just the first resistor. Um, as the uh, current comes in, it goes into this diode, then into the resistor before heading off to the capacitor. So it's this uh, resistor that I'm bypassing, not the one meg resistor that um, runs across the two terminals. Uh, so I'll just, as I said, just cut this, uh, put a switch in, and I'll drill out the little case for it so the switch can come through. I um, don't know if there's a huge amount more to say in this video. It is a pretty straightforward modification. So the reason I need to do this modification um, is simply that uh, because of this resistor, the rate at which the um, capacitor is charged is slowed down a bit. And because ignition coils, uh, well, the CDI that uh, charges the coil, um, not a constant current like an AC sort of sine wave, it's a pulse that fires at the right time. So that, that current's actually off more than it's on. And so what you end up having is that you never actually see the true peak it's getting to. So you end up with a very slow climb to a low reading, uh, lower than what's actually being presented on the line. So that resistor's fine when you're testing continuous uh, sort of um, current coils, like a charge coil or a lighting coil, that kind of thing, but uh, not so good for the ignition coils, so that's why I'm making this change. And that's pretty much that. Um, Pretty simple modification. Um, now I'm just gonna put this back washer and just put this switch through a hole I just drilled in the case. And then we're done. And I'll just mark this up so I know which, uh, which position has the resistance and which one doesn't. Um, look, there's a few variations on this, this theme. I could have actually rigged up a slightly more complicated um, switch that truly swap between uh, the resistor and the wire instead of having them in parallel. I uh, could potentially even um, go to something like a variable resistor. It'd be quite interesting to, uh, to experiment then and see what effect it has. So thanks for watching. Um, I guess we both know a little bit more about uh, DVAs now than uh, I certainly did originally. Um, I'll put a link to the video where I make the original uh, direct voltage adapter, uh, so you can see that one as well if you're looking to make one from scratch, um, but just bear in mind this modification when you do make it. Um, I'll also put a link to the uh, video on doing ignition testing where we use this meter. Uh, so thanks again. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, please subscribe and I'll catch you next time. See ya.